Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. Hope you guys are having a good day. Today we're going to do an art journal page, one that's for kids that you can do with your kids. I've got a few requests for this, so I thought, okay, let's see what we can do to make it fun for younger kids. And I'm just using my um, art journal, but of course you can use your uh, printer paper, mixed media paper, watercolor paper, Bristol paper, um, tracing paper, newspaper, whatever you have. It's fun to do with the kids and to teach the kids recycling and upcycling. You can definitely get newspaper or a magazine and, um, you know, put some gesso down or white paint or whatever you have and, you know, start and let them play and have a blast. Um, like I said, go to your library, your dollar store, all that, and get magazines that they're done with for the month and let the kids have a blast. You don't have to spend any money uh, other than the paints and you can get just a few colors and have a blast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some yellow and this is school bus yellow and folk art and I'm just going to throw it down very uh, quickly on my page because I want this to be the back uh, base color. And I have no gesso on here. I'm going to use this as my gesso and this coat dries flat. There's no, it's not satin or, um, glossy or anything like that. And I'm not worrying exactly, you know, how opaque it is on the page because if, you know, you're doing it with the kids, it doesn't matter. I did squeeze a little bit much, but that's okay. Now, if you have a hair dryer, use that to dry it or your heat gun, of course. Otherwise, if you're, this would be great to do outside with the kids or to lay newspaper or I use sometimes, um, you know, brown grocery bags you get from the store and I rip them apart and you can use that and let them have at it. But, you know, this is great because, um, this dries so fast. So if you do this with them out, you know, outside, it'll be done in two seconds, you know, it'll be dry. And why not? Why not do it out there and maybe have like a dish pan with, like warm soapy water for when they're done. If they have paint on their hands, they can just put it in there and rinse off. But use your heat gun to dry it. And if you don't have a heat gun, use your hair dryer. And if you don't have a hair dryer, your thrift store sells them for a couple bucks. At least mine always has so many of them. But like I said, if you don't have anything and you're doing with kids, leave it sit literally for not even five minutes. These paints dry so fast and they're so nice. Okay. And that's basically all she wrote for that. So I was thinking about doing two different um, kind of, I'm not doing creepy, scary or anything. I'm kind of going to do cute, um, you know, drawings. Now this is thinner um, art journaling paper. Um, if you're using printer paper or anything like that, you know, it's probably on the thinner side than mixed media or whatever. Um, so I'm going to try to use my, what number is this? This is nine. I'm using a 0.9, uh, mechanical pencil. I have nine and seven and five. Um, nine is a thicker lead and I enjoy these because with my hands and they hurt, um, I push down hard. So when I push down hard, if I'm using something like pointy, like I just sharpened this, it'll kind of mar up the paper, which, you know, when you're doing it with kids who cares, let them use crayons. Um, you can go to the dollar store and get crayons. If you don't have them, um, I used to have so many crayons left over at the end of the school year with the kids because my kids, I'd buy them the crayons and then they'd want the bigger pack and then they would break them and you have to buy more. I had so many crayons. Um, so that's always great to use or Crayola markers or colored pencils, whatever you have. But I like using this. So if you have trouble, I have fibro and RA and whatnot um, or hand problems, the thicker lead is much better. So... I hope that helps you uh, when you go to do any drawing or anything like that. Like I said, I have all the sizes, but 0.9 is my favorite. Okay, so we're going to do, we'll start over here first. And we're just going to do, I have these, I, I make these all the time. And, and I've been asked to do these on my art quilts instead of the girls. Because a lot of people don't care for the odd girls because they don't like girl, drawing girls. Um, so yeah, so let's, let's get to getting. Now I want to kind of keep it in scale. And I have a problem with scale. So what I'm going to do is start with the legs. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to draw two very different legs. 
no big deal. I might even want them thinner. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to continue on. And then I'm going to kind of go up. I want this to kind of go like this. And then we're just going to take it up like this. No big deal. I might want that. See, I'm just going to play. That's the thing. And then let's kind of. Now, if you tell the kids, hey, do this shape, right? Let's just do this basic shape <laughs> um, and let them go from there to how they want to um, make it work. You know, my obsession kicks in now and I'm like, oh, no, I don't like this one. Um, so once we get once my OCD calms down today, which I don't know if it will, this might be the only video I get done because I'm very, I'm very odd today. I might just need to work on my odd girls and tap into that. Okay. I don't know if anybody else gets like that. I get very, um, I'm not going to say hard on myself, but it, it's, I get very OCD and it, it like takes the joy out of everything. And I hate doing that. So, um, I stop because <laughs> it's not how I want to do things and it's not how I do things normally, but sometimes, you know, okay. So then you say to them, Hey, what do you see in here? Some might see a rabbit, some see whatever. I'm going for, let's do these as eyes. So I'm just going to kind of, what's that SpongeBob character? I'm going to do an eye like that. Let me move in a little more. Maybe you can see better. And then I'm going to do the other eye in a circle like that. And then make him like that. And then he can even hit, we'll make this like an eyebrow or something. I don't know. Just my thought process right now. And then for the news, I'm going to come down and I'm going to make it like a wide nose. Oh dear. We'll make it like a nose like that. Or do I want these thin? Maybe I want these thinner. Yeah, it's OCD at its finest. Can't help it. I wish. I even take medication for it. It doesn't help that. Oh, man. All right. I got to do a challenge where no erasing's allowed. It's probably what I'll, sh I'll do coming up soon. All right. And we're just going to do some nostrils. No big deal. And then let's think about the mouth. I think for the mouth, I'm going to do it down here. And let's do some teeth. And we'll make them kind of smile because we don't want nobody to be scared. Scared, scared. And then we'll just give them a little mouth. And then the fun is to, I don't like this. The fun will be to um, color them and make them what you want. Because I don't like this part. Oh my gosh, Cal. I should probably go back to bed. <laughs> hey, I like to show you guys the best and worst of me because sometimes this happens and I don't, you know, when, when it happens to other people, I don't like people to think they're the only ones in the world. Um, for whatever reason today, I'm having a really bad day and, uh, but I want to do art and I have a lot of requests I want to get through. And, uh, you know, this unfortunately comes with it and I apologize. Sometimes that medicine takes a minute to work, right? Okay. Am I right? Okay. Now look how cute. Yes. Please write somebody, please write in the comments right now, how you just enjoy my little kindergarten art work and that my channel is really cute for kindergartners. I don't care. Like I said, you guys want to do stuff with your kids over the summer and you guys want ideas. I'm going to give them to you and whatever. All right. Now let's do another one over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the legs again, because like I said, for me, you know, I have to, I'm, I'm odd. I'm odd. I'm odd. All right. And I'm just going in with the legs. The thinner, the better. I think when you're doing this kind of stuff, but 
Plus, I'm still sick, and I think taking cold medication and all my medications is making me a little crazy. Does that happen to anybody? Because that's happening to me. And then I'm going to do just like a triangle, right? Just very, very nothing. And I know how I'm going to do the nose and mouth, so maybe I'll do that first. So I'm going to go in and do the bottom lip. Again, I'm not worrying about proportion and all that stuff. We're just having fun. And I'm going to go in and draw. Tell them to draw triangles, little teethies. And then I'm going to draw lips on top here. Um, like that. And you have little lips with little teeth. And then a nose, all we got to do is do some circles and circles and then put parentheses around them. Look how cute so far. And then we're going to do eyes. So I'm going to do an eye here and then an eye here. And then I'm going to do a big right there. And then do a small here. Hmm. I want to do like. Eyebrows like that. Like that. And hmm, little arms. Let's do. Oh, let's put arms on the other one too. I got some arms and I got a small arm there. Why not do arms? And then hair, I will just probably paint on or use my um, paint or marker. And you see, that's very, very simple. And under 10 minutes, you can draw. I mean, how ridiculous is that? Now, it's fun to do with markers if you have markers, or it's fun to do with paint. It doesn't matter. Now, maybe they don't want it to be scary. You want them to be cute or whatever. So why don't we do pink? Because pink on top of yellow would be pretty. And I'm just going to use my Parisian pink because it's one of my favorite colors. And I'm going to go in. And again, I'm not worrying about erasing or anything. I'm just doing my thing. And I'm going to go in. Now, for younger kids, you might want them to paint the base color first before they draw anything on. You could say, you know, oh, pick a color and blah, blah, blah. Um... And then they can draw on it might be easier for them depends on if you do art with your kids and they're aware you know they're used to the stuff but look watch this is what i'm gonna do just easier for me and you can see i'm not making it so smooth and opaque So I think maybe I'll put some, we'll do some patterns or something on there. I don't know. All right. Now, Sharpies are fantastic. If you have any Sharpies or permanent markers, those are great. You can get them, you know, at the dollar store for the kids to use. Um, what am I want to do up here? Hmm, maybe. Uh, what color? What color? What color? Oh, la, la, la. Let's do some orange. Excuse my arm. I'm going to plop a little orange right there. This is carrot. Fancy. All right. I'm going to rinse my brush. I'm going to dry my brush just to get the moisture. And I'm going in. Yeah. And isn't it fun just not worrying about things? And these are this is great if you want to do ATC cards or you want to do um, an art journal page on your own. There is not a darn thing wrong with doing this yourself and making your own colors. And you know what I mean? Just having fun. You don't have to think about a lot. Why is my, my lead is uh, smearing a little bit, but that's okay. I'm just going to go with it. You can see I kind of did out the line outside the lines there. That's okay. We'll fix it. No big deal. Let me go in with the 
black marker fixes so much. Then you can make it sketchy. Okay. And then the legs. And then we'll play with these once everything's dry. So I'm just going to leave this go. If you want to put another coat or, uh, you know, whatever, by all means. You know, I don't think we should teach our kids that being, you know, um, I'm going to use this orange and do her dress while I'm here. Um, you know, that being perfect in art, like anything, some kids are excellent at drawing or painting or something like that. And other kids aren't. And usually the ones that aren't good at it are the ones who love it. And I don't say not good at it in the sense of that they're not good at it, but they don't feel they're good at it. Or, you know what I mean? This is so therapeutic. Imagine how this makes you feel when you do art, no matter whether it's beautiful, pretty art or art like um, this, when you're just not having a fantastic day or doing it with the kids or whatever. You know, how does it make you feel? It makes you feel good. And, you know, you should be able to, the kids should be able to do it too and feel pride and be happy and not be so hung up on it being perfect or in the lines, you know, and start young, start these kids young. They take all of this out of our schools now at no art or music. And it's really a shame um, because art was one of my favorite things growing up, you know, and it's, I don't know, it's just important to teach the kids if this is what they, they like to do, especially young. This is what, this was basic shapes to draw. It wasn't a big deal. Cause y'all know I'm not a big deal. My brain does not function or, you know, do things like I want them to do or I see them. And like I said, using markers might be easier uh, for some kids. So, you know, I'm just going to clean off my brush on there. Nothing, no big deal. But I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm not going to worry too much. I'm going to leave the skin tone on her face, probably that color. But I'm going to do some green in her eyes with a smaller brush. I'll probably do those in her. Let's do her arms first. It's like a mint green. Just let them have fun. Like they said, let them eat cake. Who cares? And you could do two different color eyes if you want. I'm not going to, but you definitely can. Because you know I love that. And then I think for the eyebrows. I'm going to use a marker. And. Nope, I'm not going to use that marker because it's a marker that's not working. Oh. Let's try green. Okay. And then we can go in. I mean, see how easy? Then you can go around, make sure your paint's dry. And if not, and you hit it and it's a little wet, just wipe your marker off at the end like this. Let me see. I have no paper here to throw away. You just kind of roll it on its side to get that acrylic off so it doesn't dry. You'll be glad. And then I can always color this in. I mean, think how much fun for the kids. It doesn't take much. And the dollar store has great, um, let's do her nose in this color too, has great markers and art supplies. You know, if you don't want to spend a lot. I mean, look, come on now. And I'm going to trace her head. What kind of hair can we give it? 
Now you can see my pencil lines are showing through. You definitely can um, erase those when this is dry. But I'm just going to thicken this up a little bit. All right, so while that dries for now, so then I can go and do more on that. Oh, I can't breathe. All right, let's see. Let's do some purple over here. And let's go in. And do his nose. I'm kind of glared there because it's I'll do down here so you can see better for now. And then I'm just going in. I'm doing his mouth. And you can see right here, I didn't trace the line. So I'm just going to color it in a little bit, give him a little bit of gummage. No big deal. And then let's see, let's trace with our purple. A little wet still, but that's okay. It's gonna... You can do this in paint as well. You don't have to do it in the marker uh, or anything. Use paint. You don't have to go buy anything uh, special or, you know, anything like that. I'm just going to. Trace it, trace it, trace it. And I'm not going to worry about the line underneath. I'm going to just kind of trace it how I want it. Because that's just how I like to do it. And you see? And sometimes when you trace it, it just, I don't know, it just adds a little something. And I went outside that one, but who cares? Watch. Let's do this and we're going to color it in. Color it in. And then. Same thing. No big deal. Now, maybe you want to do some, we could do some stripes. I think those are fun. You could do them in all different colors or the same color, whatever you want. You could do them like this. Um, you can add, I don't want to do dots. People scream at me when I do dots because of, they, that bothers them. So I don't want to do dots, but I do want to make this a little thicker. I think the paint needs to dry a little bit more, but we can make them smile. give him a little chin and then let's do the let's do this here let's do the eyes okay I'll go like this I'm just coloring in one eye and then this one I'm moving these down a little bit because I want to Making that one big. I'm changing them. I'm allowed. And then maybe we'll do some little squiggles or stickers or who knows what you have. All right. Now I'm going to go in. Maybe I'll use the purple here too because. I'll go in and do the lips here. Do it like that. And I'm just going to see it's still wet, so I want to be careful. But, and you can use black. You don't have to use, I'm just kind of using what I got that's sitting here. And, you know, I got to. 
I'm going to clean my marker off on here on the sides, right? I'm going to kind of go like this so I get the paint off. And what I'm going to do, let's hope I get to it quick enough, is take my brush and I'm going to liquefy this. But I don't know if it's going to be enough because I don't have that much ink on there. I wanted to kind of make it watercolored, but I don't think that's going to work. So that's all right. Maybe I'll take some of this green and mix it in too. I'll just get like a mud color because if you've ever done art with kids, you know. What I'm going to do is dry this real quick, and I'll probably add another color on top. Probably a darker color. Kind of looks like that SpongeBob character. I just realized that as I was doing it, I was like, "Huh, must be in my the back of my head, the back of my brain." I think this is like a violet. I think it's a violet. I think it's a violet color, like a crimson. Because I wasn't digging that color. And look, when you kind of just do like this, look how fun. It makes it have some texture. It's not rocket science, like I tell Emily. It's not rocket science, Em. Don't overthink it. Emily's an overthinker. Drives me nuts. I am too. So, you know, it's easier to judge other people. Horrible, isn't it? It's easier to judge other people than, than uh, dealing with yourself and what you do. I can see everything I do wrong in my daughter, which drives me insane. And I'm sure it drives her insane too. Getting advice from somebody who uh, does the same thing. And you see, kid art, who cares? Now, you go, you have it done, you want to, you know, maybe they want to doodle. Teach them how to doodle. Doodling or whatever the heck you want to call it nowadays. There's six million different names for it. Um, teaching them how to doodle is so meditative and so wonderful. And it doesn't have to be that you go out and buy expensive books to teach you or anything else. Circles, uh, squares, those are all great things to doodle. So, um, you know, let's do something very simple. Let's take some squares. And if you have a regular square, go down here and make the round corners. Right? Not a circle, but kind of like round, you know? Do some circles here. And then you just repeat, maybe a star here. And then once you get them, once the kids get them done, have them do things inside. Maybe you want to do a circle inside here and then do another square and just start. It's just doodling. Put some lines. Very simple, you know? Make little squiggles. And you have a doodle. It isn't that hard. Um, same here. Like you can see, I kind of messed up here with this line. Well, let's keep going with it, shall we? Look. La la la. La -da -da, la -da -da. Look at. We have that. Now, if you want to be really, really fancy, do your lines. Do a line here and a line here and a line here and a line here and a line here. You know, so they're not by each other. And then you can go in and color them, kind of like checkery, right? And then you can go in and color them, whatever colors that you want to color them. No big deal. And then the circle, the same thing. You can kind of do like it. You can just do circle inside of a circle, inside of a circle, inside of a circle, inside of a circle. Fun. 
not a big deal. Maybe in here you want to make this like a big, you know what I mean? Maybe we can do, you don't want to do lines down this way because it might look a little um, inappropriate, but that's what she said. But we can do like this, right? And then you can color these in different colors if you want, or you could put the lines down going the same as that. You can do circles in here if you want. You could do whatever you want. Just doodle. Now over here, I don't know, let's do, let's do like a rose. We'll do small, we'll start small and we'll do like a small spiral and we'll just go like that and then kind of touch it at the end. And then we can do this and then do leaves and you have a little rose and then you can color that in. Again, stars. Stars are great. Do small stars. Nobody says that you have to, you know. Oh, so much, so much, so much. So you definitely can do that. I'm going to do this and then um, I will show you a picture at the end of when it's done. Once I kind of, you know, do a little bit more of the doodling and trace it, I'm not going to sit here and bore you to death. But if you guys do this in general or with kids or whatever, let me know. You know, I love to be tagged in any art that you do, especially if it relates to anything that I do. Um, and you can find all my information down below to find me everywhere. And yeah, yeah, this seems very simple and very, you know, childish and everything else. But this is so much fun to sit with your kids and to show them that, you know what, you don't have to have um, this grand idea in your head of what to do. Just sit and draw and have fun. This came from me watching SpongeBob with my kids and I was just sitting here and after I started drawing it, I was like, oh, that's why. Because it was on SpongeBob, it must have been in my head, you know? And you could take white paint and let me see if I have any of my white paint sitting here, right here. You could take your white paint and then do some, um, what do you call? I just lost my train of thought. you know, some highlights, highlights, Kel. And you can go in and highlight the eyes, you know, or up here, or like the little, you know, and use the other side, teach them to use the other side of the brush just to add, you know, so a lot of us don't have a lot of supplies. So, you know, you want to learn to do Every, use everything that you have. All right, I can sit here and play all day. That's the problem. Um, but yeah, so if you enjoyed these videos, please give me a thumbs up, share me everywhere. I appreciate it greatly. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Remember, progress, not perfection. And I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.